Hi friends, welcome to the second video on coding theory. The first video introduced you to the basic concept of coding theory. What is going to be the structure of a basic communicating channel? What is an encoder, decoder? What is going to be the process behind a string uh, getting encoded? What is meant by an Hamming code? What is the weight of a string? And what is the minimum distance between the strings? All these things were discussed in the uh, part one video, which was as a basic for a coding theory to understand the basic parts. Now this part or this second video will introduce you to the part one type of problems, which we told that we will be discussing, namely how to encode a given word. So this will be the basic idea that will be covered in your part two video. Come on, we will move on. We will see about some basic notations of error correction using matrix technique. So matrix is going to be the easiest of all the formats to express any kind of data. And we are going to use matrices to error, error detection and for error correction method over here. So we have M and N to belong to the set of positive integers over here. That's why we have written it as Z plus Z plus meaning integers that are going to be positive in nature. And the encoding function E is going to take a string of B power M to a string of B to the power of M, where B is going to be elements of a binary data, which is either a zero or it is going to be a one. And this is going to be given in a format of M cross N matrix, which we represent it as G. The matrix G is called as a generator matrix for the code and it is of the format I M with a line and a A. This line is called as augmentation. That is the entries inside the matrices can be separated using the line, the right hand side and the left hand side. The left hand side is going to be a quantity called as I M, I standing for identity. So it is an identity matrix of order M. And what do we mean by an identity matrix? It's going to contain one along its principal diagonal element. Then you have say one zero 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 one zero 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 one. If it is going to contain one along your diagonal element, principal diagonal, then such a matrix will be called as an identity matrix. And this will be always a square matrix and of order M. So, which means this containing three elements is going to be a three cross three matrix. So, the order of this identity matrix is going to be three. And the part which is available on the right hand side of the bar, the bar is nothing but an invisible line. As such, the matrix will not contain any line like this. It's just like acting as a separator so that we can visualize the identity matrix to one part of the matrix and the remaining part as A. A is going to be an M cross N minus M matrix, which we will have to choose suitably depending upon the coding system, which we are going to take. If W is going to be the message, we will have to encode and that belongs to a string of length M. That's why we call it as B of M. So B of M is going to be my starting point. I pick any word from over here, then that is going to be the message W or the word W and I am going to encode it. So this encoding function takes the W to E of W is taken to W times of G. So this W into G will be something that belongs to B to the power of N. So B power N is nothing but a string of length m and b to the power of m is going to be a string of length m so obviously you take an original message which is going to be of length m you go do with the function e and what does that e do it attaches one two three four and so on so that it totally the length of the string becomes equal to n this n which we have or this string over here is called as the encoded 
word so how is this getting transformed this is getting transformed through the function e this e takes in this part which is going to be w and generates e of w so w is taken by e and it generates e of w what is e of w e of w is this entire portion this entire portion is your e of w that's what we get so if i am going to have e to be a function from b2 to, to b power 5 what does that mean it takes an input of a binary string of length 2 what is going to be a binary string of length 2 it can either be a 0 0 it can be a 0 1 it can be a 1 0 or it can be a 1 1 so these are going to be string of length 2 this words when it is going to be taken as an input by this function called as e you have e of w gets generated and this e of w which get generated will be a string of length 1 2 3 4 5 and what is this 5 this 5 is over here which means that the first three positions or first two positions over here represents the original word which is one of these four words and now to it an extra parity bits are getting added up so that finally we end up with a 5 bit string so this function adds three more boxes one two three three more boxes or three more bits to the original data and converts it into a 5 bit data and then transmits it so this is what my encoding function does now the encoding function takes the word w and generates the word w times of g which is given by e of w next moving on we will see what is meant by a parity check matrix this matrix provides an encoding scheme that corrects a single error in my transmission the parity check matrix is given by a transpose augmented with i n minus m so this is again a matrix the line over here is an imaginary line which means that the matrix h has two portions the first portion that contains a transpose what is a transpose the matrix a which we had here is inverted like you change the rows to column and columns to rows so that you get your a transpose so this a transpose is attached along with an identity matrix i is again an identity matrix it is going to be your identity matrix of order which is going to be n minus m so if a e is going to be a function from my b square to b to the power of y i know the general format is b to the power of m to b to the power of n so i have m to be equal to 2 my n to be equal to 5 which means n minus m will be 5 minus 2 that makes it as 3 hence what happens here is the original data will be a 2 bit matrix this will be my original data or original message to this what we do is we attach 3 more bits so what gets added up is 1 2 3 so 3 more bits are getting added up so that the encoded word will be of encoded word will be of length to be equal to 5 original data is of length 2 the encoded data will be of length 5 so i will be able to identify what is i n minus m so what will be i n minus m it is nothing but my i3 over here and my i3 is nothing but 100 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. so this matrix 
can be identified as a portion that contains identity matrix to your right hand side and the leftover part which can be taken as A transpose. So in this way we will be able to see that we are going to deal with three important components. One is going to be generator matrix G that generates a encoding word and that which is being aided by a function E which takes the words B power M to a word of length B power N and then we have a matrix to decode it because after encoding the reverse process is decoding that has to be done using your H which is given by A transpose augmented with I N minus M. There are two points to note about the matrix H which is the parity check matrix where we have no column that contains only zeros. So you have H to be elements over here and we can see that no columns has in all the values to be equal to 0. There is no such column which is present in your H. And second quantity is that no two columns are H are going to be identical. So if this is going to be my one column and the other column over here, no two columns are going to be identical. All of them are going to be distinct in nature. So we will have a quick recap. What is a generator matrix? It is a matrix G which takes the format of IM augmented with A. IM is going to be your identity matrix of order M and A is going to be the supporting matrix which we will have to choose properly. E is going to be an encoding function which takes elements from B power M to the quantity b to the power of n where always your n the entire encoded word string is going to be greater than that of the base word or the original message called as m. How to encode this word? E of w is given by w times g and what we use to detect the error and then correct it that is you done using a parity check matrix h which is given by a transpose which is augmented with i n minus m. So I hope that this video has given you an insight of what is happening uh, within like uh, the system how we are going to encode and how we are going to decode it. So happy learning, keep learning. We will see how to generate a encoded word in our next matrix. Thank you.